Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Black Clover M video. Alright, I'm sure you guys have heard the news by now, eh? There's some leaks going on in Black Clover. And a lot of you guys came to my Discord and told me, uh, by the way, if you guys want to join the Discord, links are in the des description, alright? So feel free to uh, come here and, you know, make friends and hopefully you guys can share the code as well. So, a lot of you guys told me about this, that Tecton stream, he confirmed Julius is coming on Christmas Eve. And some of you guys told me, okay, watch this particular video. I was a bit skeptical at first because listening to this, I'm like, um, this seems a bit fake, right? This seems a bit fake because it's like, why would it matter? Why would, why would he say that? And why would he leak stuff like that, right? So I went and watched this particular uh, clip, this particular video, and it does seem like it's true. And I don't know why uh, the developers or the, the agency told him that in particular but you can see right here uh if you guys are not aware tecton is a twitch streamer pretty big twitch streamer he plays uh, he got sponsored to play this particular gacha game black clover m Download it now so you can okay. see this is him reading off and a it's the same en dub cast for the english dub uh game so the same so he's reading it off a script it seems like voice actors who you know do the like an email and stuff anime are in the game interesting incredibly free-to-play system that guarantees mm. everybody SSRs and the game hit number one in downloads in over a hundred countries yep so Black Clover M did hit <laughs> number one downloads in a number of different countries which is very very impressive and here's the good part okay Julius Nova Chrono ooh will be dropping on Christmas Eve alright so he pretty much uh, I thought this was fake, right? Because when you hear just that particular sentence, but you can see early on, he did read uh, pretty much a script from the game. And after that, he is sponsored to to play the game. All right, you can see he's, he's playing the game and stuff. So this is going to be a big deal moving forward. Now, if you are a free to play, like I am, all right? A lot of people ask me if I'm free to play. Yes, I'm still free to play. Uh, you can see right here, first purchase, bam, still I have not yet brought anything from the game. Uh, it's very important because Julius is the strongest character in the game. Now, right now, I know a lot of you guys have been summoning, all right? No, there's nothing wrong if you love to summon, if you love to pull, you love the gacha. Leech, Raiha, these are both very strong characters, all right? And they have Fana and Veto. Also really, really strong characters, but regardless, these characters, you know, they will be available later on in the standard banner. Like once this banner ends, they will be added to the standard banner. Just like how uh, the Red Yami is going to be added there as well. So you still have a chance to spook them from there later on. But when it comes to Julius, things are going to be, um, you know, like as far as I know, it's a bit different, right? So if you look at the tier list, let me show you guys. On Pritwin, you can see Julius is the top character in both PvE and PvP. Alright, so let's talk about Julius overall. Uh, very, very strong character overall. He's probably going to be one of the strongest meta-defining uh, character aside from Noel. And if you don't have him, your account is going to be lacking behind. Alright, especially for free-to-play, he's pretty much a must-have. Now let's talk about why, what makes him really, really strong, alright? So here's the thing. Everyone is going to have a Noel later on. Whether you like it or not, everybody is going to have a Noel. When you play PvP, everybody is going to have a Noel. But when what makes the difference for a lot of players is going to be this guy, Julius. Uh, and this is not just for PvP, actually. Uh, if you look at it, PvE and PvE, he's like the top blue damage dealer in terms of attacker. He's going to straight up uh, power creep Fana, which just came out recently. Going to straight up power creep uh, blue Yami. Any other attacker is pretty much going to get power creep by this guy. <clears throat> now, if you guys are not aware, you can see right here, uh, let me just briefly uh, glance through and uh, go through with you guys the skills. Skill 1, basically simple, Thai magic to transfer magic bullets to the enemy. Alright, so applies 5% decreased stamina, very very good, that means you are decreasing enemy's mobility. And if this attack is a critical hit, apply 5% increased stamina to all allies. Again, you can see, very very good, this is going to uh, a simple and basic skill 1, however, it does uh, have secondary effect that can change the tide of the battle. Distorted time on skill 2, you can see this is an AoE skill, right? Use time magic to swiftly approach the enemies and explode a magic orb, dealing damage to all enemies. Now, 
This one can do something very insane called a time stop. 50% chance to inflict time stop on an enemy for two turns. Two turns, not one turn, but two turns. All right, and also grants himself increased speed for one turn. All right, you guys know how broken this is. Turn-based game, increased speed, going to be extremely insane. So time stop basically is pretty much a silence, uh, disables a skill two and increase cooldown by one turn, right? Now, so far, it doesn't sound that impressive, right? So what is going to be very, very strong is this particular skill right here, the chronostasis. Now, this is what makes Julius extremely strong, just like how he is in the anime, right? Restrains an enemy with chronostasis, fires magic bullets at them. So this is going to stun the enemy for one turn, applies 20% decreased stamina to the enemy, all right, which is fine, but she, he also gains extra turn if this attack kills the enemy. Now, this particular thing is going to change the course of the battle in terms of PvP, in terms of uh, PvE, depending on if you are farming, this extra turn mechanic is insane. That means there's going to be occasions where Julius is just going to straight up move again and again and again and again, right? So this is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, target will be disabled uh, when he's done. Uh, take an extra turn when your turn has ended. So if you set him up correctly in PvE when you're farming or in PvP, if he has the perfect setup, he will be able to constantly move over again and again and again, which again is extremely, extremely broken. I can't believe they actually designed a character this way. But then again, I think it's fair. Uh, it is law accurate somewhat, right? Combine attack right here. Performs a combine attack with your partner, dealing damage to an enemy. Upon having a buff, attacks after applying 30% increased damage to yourself and also 10% decreased stamina to the enemy. Again, very, very good buff overall. And he is going to be a uh, very, very interesting over, like just a very broken character. Look at the passive, all right? When you die for the first time in battle, all right? For the first time, use regression, return to life with 45% max HP, all right? This effect can only activate once per battle, but oh my God, you have a free resurrection on your ability, on your passive skill. If you die once, you just resurrect one time per battle, but that's more than enough. It's going to be able to change the course of the battle in a lot of situation. And unique passive, this one, for every 15 speed, gain 3% increased damage, gain one stack of time accumulation every turn, all right, where your special skill damage increased by 10%. Now, how you want to build him is you want to stack as much speed as you can to hopefully gain more increased damage, and that makes Julius really, really strong, really potent in PvP and in PvE. This guy is just an insane beast, all right? So if you can only obtain one character, it shall be Julius. It shall be Julius. So do save. If you do not have any pulls, if you don't have any gems, you gotta save for this guy. He's coming on Christmas Eve, which is not too far away. We are like, we are like 14 days away. We are like 13 days away from Christmas Eve. All right, we're like two weeks away from Christmas Eve. Um, I'm gonna have a, a guide later on to hopefully help you guys calculate how much gems you get uh, daily and stuff. But man, if you have been pulling too much on, on the Raiha banner, if you've been pulling a lot on these other banners, like don't fall for all these bait manners, man. Always pull for, for the... Especially if you're a low spender or free to play. Um, it seems like Global is super, super rush, right? So hopefully you guys are more wary or, you know, be just be extra careful with your resources, especially if you're a low spender, all right? You can see this is how much I have saved up. Hopefully, I'll have enough when Julius Banner comes. All right, Noel Banner is going to be there. Julius Banner is going to be there. Oh my god, I don't know how am I going to do this. But hey, <laughs> I hope we can all make it together. All right, so with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, hopefully, you guys are aware now. Start saving, uh, you know, save as much as you can. If you do not have enough gems, uh, just save as much as you can. Julius is just that strong. Uh, he's worth gambling for. Uh, you might want to, you sh you want to try to ideally save enough for all the way to PT two hundred, right? But hey, if you can't make it, you can't make it. Uh, it's worth gambling, I guess. But okay, this is gonna be it for today's video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Julius overall. Are you guys pulling? Do you guys have enough? Let me know how much gems you have left in the comment section below. Subscribe. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye.